Harry Raymond, and why would anyone want to kill him? It began in 1933 when at the height of corruption in the city, Harry was appointed Los Angeles Chief of Police. He sought to get rid of department political influence and city corruption. But 90 days after he was appointed, he was fired by the city manager. Unfortunately, he angered downtown businesses when he began to enforce vice laws and refused to cave into pressure from City Hall. After his firing, he became a private detective. As a private detective, one of his new clients was Citizens Independent Vice Investigating Committee, CIVIC. The group were citizens with the purpose of eliminating organized crime within Los Angeles City governments, LAPD and City Hall. Group members included Clifford Clinton, owner of the famous Clifton's Restaurant, and LA County Supervisor John Anton Ford. Through his investigative work, Raymond had obtained enough evidence to show corruption within the LAPD and show that corruption got the current mayor, Frank Shaw, elected. Clinton went to the grand jury with his evidence, but they refused to investigate. The following year, Clinton convinced Judge Fletcher Bourne to appoint him to the grand jury. As the grand juror, Clinton requested to investigate LAPD Vice, but was turned down by the grand jury foreman John Bauer. He went to Judge Bourne who oversaw the grand jury, who in turn interceded to allow him to proceed with an investigation. According to the LA Times, his grand jury report showed how organized crime money controlled by the mayor, and protected by Chief Davis, had been funneled into city elections, and in return, city officials ignored organized crime elements. Following the report, a notary appeared before the grand jury and testified that the grand jury foreman John Bauer and D.A. Fritz were on the mayor's payroll. The retaliations. Following the report and testimony to the grand jury, foreman Bauer and D.A. Fitz went to the notary's home with a squad of detectives and beat him so severely that he ended up in the hospital. Raymond and Clinton also became enemy number one of the mayor, chief of police, and the D.A. Later a bomb ripped through Clinton's family home, but no one was seriously hurt. All of this did not deter Clinton. Clinton asked Raymond to expand his investigation. As Raymond neared the completion of his case and was making plans to take the evidence to the grand jury, that is when a car bomb exploded with him in it. Harry Raymond, already known as the most feared copper in California, would be celebrated throughout the nation as a tough, defiant man unafraid to take on the powerful political and criminal forces that tried to kill him. The pipe bomb that exploded when he started his automobile that morning drove several hundred pieces of metal into his body, fractured both his ankles, and left him with multiple lacerations, including two puncture wounds in his chest. For days, newspapers across the country ran photographs that showed him stalwartly smoking a cigarette while doctors removed shrapnel from his legs. Before the year was over, his defiance would lead to the indictment of officers in a secret Los Angeles police squad, the recall of the mayor, the dismissal of 23 senior officers in the LAPD, and the migration of many of LA's underworld figures to Las Vegas, where they would create a legal gambling empire. For many, Harry Raymond would go down in Los Angeles history as a true knight in the story of LA's corrupt days, a detective hero like Raymond Chandler's Philip Marlowe. Raymond's new Chrysler Royal was parked at his house at 955 Orm Avenue. The big Chrysler fits snugly in the garage, the car and garage were locked and padlocked. It was around 10 a.m. on January 14, 1938, when Harry Raymond went out to his garage in Boyle Heights, turned the key on the ignition of his car and his car exploded. The explosion was loud enough to hear throughout the neighborhood and led to the downfall of LAPD and the mayor. Don't miss a moment from this channel. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe.